Well, you can tell by our sky view shot going through our evening, we will have some scattered rain showers across the area. They're very isolated, so a shower like this will move on by and then you'll get into some uh, dry periods of time that uh, might last for much of the uh, overnight hours before more waves of showers and even some thunder showers come your way. Here's a look from above and you can see that the uh, showers uh, mainly isolated at this point. And although we see a lot of uh, dry real estate off in the south from the south, we might still get some more waves of showers and a few thunder showers as we go through the uh, overnight hours. Here's the evening. You can see some rain along with the uh, showers that we might anticipate during the overnight hours. But then for Thursday, front comes through with some more showers and a few thunder showers. And all this pushes from the northwest to the southeast by late Thursday into Thursday night. We'll start to end the rain and our skies will be clearing off for Friday just in time for what should be a beautiful weekend. Three days of low humidity, temperatures in the low 70s and a lot more sun than we've seen lately. 76 for your Thursday, mostly cloudy skies. Winds go from the southwest to the northwest as that front passes on by. Breezes up to about 20 miles per hour, scattered showers, and a few thunderstorms can't be ruled out. Still not looking at anything that uh, would become severe. Maybe some strong ones along the way. We'll keep an eye on that. That's what we'll be tracking. 72 Friday, 71 Saturday. Second half of the seven day forecast shows that the second half of the weekend still looks beautiful. A lot of sun on Sunday, 73 for the high, and then we'll start warming things up into early next week, but still looking at mainly dry weather back to the mid 80s by Wednesday.